What's up with the squad, man? We back at it once again up here. I just want y'all to go ahead and like and subscribe to what it is you about to get force fed today. You know, we got to give y'all a little bit of sauce because the man's a boss real quick. But on a real note, real note, go ahead, like, subscribe, everything, man. Do everything. Share all the good stuff. All of it. Help a brother out. Going to grow this channel together as a community as we all continue to build with each other. So, you know, with that being said, man, let's go ahead and get right into business. What is going on today, man? FOMC meeting did happen today. What exactly happened during the FOMC meeting? Nothing unpredictable. Everybody kind of assumed that it was just going to be another pause. No, not a cut. If they had did a, a rate cut, then it would have been very, very bad for the economy a surprise rate cut at this time how everything is going in, in the economy really would have been terrible but we got a pause that is very bullish for crypto but as we know going into today it was going to be a sell-off because people like to you know they say buy the rumors sell the news or whatever they just people are backwards whenever they expect it to be kind of a shaky feeling they don't know whether it's going to be good or bad they just sell this is what they do we're in neutral right now if you look at the fear and greed index we are in neutral meaning people not really sure we're tipping a little bit more so um towards the greed side so 57 so we're not exactly in the middle people are a little bit more bullish than they are bearish but nonetheless we are neutral it's not a bad or a good place to be i'm gonna tell you that right now it's just you know consolidations and that's pretty much what we've been going through right here in bitcoin consolidations as you can see in this little moment right here we've just been moving sideways ever since february pretty much the beginning of the year in january we had this nice little blow off top right here not really a blow off top we had a nice little um increase in price though due to the ETFs, but after that, once the halving was coming in, we've just been moving sideways, so everybody want to know exactly where it is that we're going to be going after this, and with it being pretty much the end of summer, summer was pretty, pretty chill, which is typical in the month of July, specifically when it comes to um, Bitcoin and a bear, I mean a bull um, market, let's just look at it right here, May, do, 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 do. look at July, from right here, hold on, we're going to put it in a box, where July at? It's like right here to this it. Oh, looky. oh wow look at that efficiency right now let me let me take back what I said it looked like that was a that was a little something that was a little bullish month right here it wasn't nothing too crazy small moves small moves but typically it was sideways man it wasn't nothing special going on right here let's get a nice little clean view into what happened because honestly if you're just looking at the price action itself it went sideways this is from the end of june to the end of july sideways action this is what we always get in summertime specifically you can go all the way back right here from may you know it's just sideways action that's what we get summertime who cares bullish because summertime normally like pumps everybody up when it go, goes into like the holidays and stuff. I don't, yeah. People, it's, look, you got to understand the psychology of people, man. That's all. That's the only thing I can say. If you understand the psychology, you can see what's coming in at you ahead of time. Ahead of time. People just, they're predictable. They're straight up predictable. But during all this time of bitcoin going sideways and as you can see right now within these last couple of days let me go ahead and zoom in right here because i'm on the day chart so of course i gotta do a lot of a lot of rescaling but as you can see within this last couple of days starting from the 28th we've pretty much been in, in a downward motion like we've dropped from this local high a good seven eight percent if you ask me that sucks because we we're all hoping for it to capture this mid on um, this mid range right here within this parallel channel and then just bounce off just just send but as you can see we did a, a rejection came up did a, a test of it now here's another retest and if we can hold probably another one or two times 
you know, we can pretty much send through. And what that was pretty much look like is us like bouncing right here, boom, boom, and then just go off. If not, we could fall, but I don't really see us going no lower than probably like right here, right? And then work our way back up. Reason why I say that is because we do have us a nice little pocket of demand that is operating right here in this zone. And as you can see, it's actually been operating throughout this like area for a while within this uh parallel channel like we came up boom bounced on it once right here i'm matter of fact i'll go and highlight it bounced on it once right here came down almost retest right here boom came down bounced under it just a little bit but then got sucked right back up bounced off of it bounced off of it broke below it right here so you know what we're gonna change this one right here to a red because it was a little deviated period that's ugly I'm not even gonna do that. You know what? We, what we gonna do? You know what we gonna do? We just gonna make it a small little deviation so you guys can understand exactly what I'm talking about here. Dun, 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 dun. I should have should have had the uh, words put up here on it as well. I'll go ahead and type it in for you guys. It should be. It's in white. We gonna change that to black and then boom, there you go. So, that's pretty much what happened right there. But we bounced off this little thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fell through for a little uh, a bear trap. People start selling, thinking it's going to retest it and keep falling down. Nope, deviated out of the range, and we blew right back off into the top part of this range, right above the middle section where we are retapping this bar of uh, this little range of demand here. So that's pretty much what's going on with Bitcoin. But the thing I like to point out is while we've been in this small little downwards motion for these last couple of days in Bitcoin, there's one altcoin that's really been ripping. But, you know, we got to talk about Bitcoin first because typically everything follows Bitcoin. But this go around, this particular altcoin just don't give a fuck. Like it's doing whatever it is that it wants to do. And that is Casper. Ladies and gentlemen, like I said, it pretty much played out exactly how I thought it was going to play out. Once we tapped it one, two, three times, it was going to blow right through it. You can go look at some of my old videos. In fact, I will leave that video posted for you guys so you can see exactly what it is I'm talking about. But I knew this was going to happen on Castle because it's the exact same thing that happened before. We had a nice little blow off top. Red um, highlighted part right here just indicating a sell-off all the way down boom then we had a major buy-in where it was a lot of demand down here and we re like you know started the trend line start moving up this trend line when it got close to right here to the all-time high of course this one went up past it so you know this right here was the all-time high but then it just hit that ceiling three times one two three on the third go it broke through and that's exactly what happened over here on the third go, one, two, and three, it broke through while going up and upwards trending line. So it was the exact same pattern that played out. Glad that I seen it and called it out. If you, you know, was paying attention for whoever was paying attention, listen, you, you could have made you a little bit of something, something, something. A little something, something. I've been bullish on Casper within this entire range i've been um dollar cost averaging so to see it break out and leave this range finally yeah i'm happy i believe like within all of this range right here boom i was buying i'm, I'm gonna put all this right here in green i ain't gonna tell you exactly where what prices but like my average price is like 13 cents right so we just want to look at it right here my average you know it's like 13 cents Boom, we done made a good little 58% gains to it on the average. But, you know, if you put in big money, that 58% gains brings back big money. For every $1,000 you put into it, that's an extra $500 in the account. And I am up a nice little amount. So, hey, I'm happy. If you can follow along, you can catch these plays and be happy with me. More power to you. If not, you know, hey to each they own not no financial advisor though everything i'm saying is just for speculation and entertainment purposes only don't take what it is i'm saying as that's my phone going off don't take everything 
that I'm saying as nothing but hard truth because it's not. It's not. If you lose your money, it's not my fault. Learn risk management. That's all I can say. But, you know, we're going we gonna to close this out real quick, man. No, honestly, though, I'm just happy. I mean, look, look, look at this. Look at this. Chatting on up. Don't even care what the rest of the market's doing. Caspa is at an all-time high. The rest of the markets are down. Caspa is at an all-time high. That's why I keep saying that Caspa is going to be leading this bull run. Just wait and see. Wait and see.